Have you ever been asked to make a punchy mix and you don't even know where to start? Keep watching because I'm going to break down exactly what to do with your mix bus. Hey guys, Joey here and in today's video I'm going to show you a few different types of mixes and how to achieve them. We're going to cover a punchy mix, an open mix, and a super bass heavy mix. Let's dive right in. Punchy mix is defined by its transients. Each time they hit, the whole mix gets louder for a moment. And the key to getting this sound is to getting your compression dialed in. Get a slow attack and fast release. The specific numbers will depend on the tempo and the balance. The slow attack lets more of the transient through. The fast release puts the gain reduction back to zero in time for the next transient. One issue you'll find with punchy mixes is that the sub-frequencies might pull the focus of the compressor. There's two ways to fix this. Run the compressor from a side chain that ignores the subs, or reduce the sub volume overall. Long bass hits take away from the impact of a punchy mix. Getting a full and punchy mix is a delicate balance of bass volume, compression, and EQ. An open mix is one that breathes. The compression is a little faster. The goal here is to make it smooth so that the drums don't distract from the texture of the music. Try keeping more of the room mics in the drum mix and less of the close mics. One of the other important steps to an open mix is nailing the width. Midside EQ is great for adding that larger than life feeling. Experiment with some high frequency emphasis if you want something open and airy. If you're mixing EDM, trap, or any other genre with long extended subnotes, then the compression gets a little more advanced. Multiband compression is critical when dealing with such diverse sounds. Solo the low band and set a compressor that lets a bit of the transient through. Slow releases work great here. For the high end, it's common to go pretty fast in the compression. This gives more emphasis to the lower frequencies. These mixes often end up super loud when mastered. Add a second compressor to get the entire frequency spectrum more controlled. Awesome. Now let's slap on a limiter and start checking the bass on various systems. What type of mixes are you struggling to achieve? Let us know in the comments below so we can cover it in a future video. Ready to apply these concepts to your mix? Definitely check out the BusGlue Mix plugins. JST, Joel Wanasek, and Billy Decker all have compressors designed to easily control your mix bus. Download your copy today at the one and only joeysturgistones.com.
Thanks for watching, and if you like this video, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to check the links in the description below and tap that bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos. Until next time, happy mixing. Thank you.